Hi, it's Pshamak here, the designer and developer of Metagrid Pro, and today I'm going to talk about switch groups. Metagrid Pro enables you to create latching switches. Let's have a look at some basic info that you get in the quick guide. So when you open Metagrid Pro, when you launch it, you can see that uh, there are some grids uh, that create quick guide. Let me go to the switch type uh, grid, and over there you've got an example of a um, latching switch. So when I tap it, it changes the state to off and on. Now, what's great about Metagrid is that it allows you to create logical switch groups. So all these buttons over here are assigned to one group. When you go to the configuration option, I scroll down and I can see the section switch group. You can see that all these buttons over here are assigned to group one. When I tap the button, this button gets highlighted and all the other buttons in the group get back to their off state. So that's a group with no leader. The next group is a group with a leader. I've got the buttons over here. When I tap them, they don't change their state, although they are latching switches. If you look at the configuration options, you can see that each button over here in this group is a latching switch. But this button over here, let's have a look at the configuration option. And this button, the leader, is group leader, so this switch is on. It means that uh, when the leader is off, all the other buttons in the group act as if they were in the off state, right? But when I tap the leader, all the buttons change to their, to their on state and, and they don't change their state until the leader is off. And again, we are back to their off state functionality. Now, there's another option that uh, is quite useful because you can create um, some kind of uh, menus. Is the group uh, with a leader, but uh, the leader responds to the followers. So let's have a look at the configuration options. So I've got a group leader, but also leader responds to followers is on as well. All the other buttons are assigned to group three on this grid. So let's have a look at how it works. Again, the buttons work in their off state when the leader is off. But when I tap the leader, they change their state. And now when I tap the follower button, all the other buttons return to the off state. So the leader is off, and in turn, all the other buttons get to their off state as well. This is quite useful because you can create a single action menus like uh, selecting the leader, tapping the option, and, and the group goes back to its default state. Now let's have a look at some practical applications. Now I'll switch to my OmniSpace grid that I use in my daily work. And over there, I've got the buttons that enable me to switch between the desktops. And this is a group without the leader. So it means that every time I tap the button, this button gets highlighted and all the other buttons get back to the their off state. Okay, let me go to forklift. That's a grid that I have just, that we have just released. And there is the group for sorting and arranging files. So I've got the group leader over there. And uh, when I, when the leader is off, the buttons work in their off state. And when I tap the sort arrange button, now this button changed their functionality and now they work as uh, options for arrangement. So I tap kind and all the files are arranged by kind. Now, when I, again, when I tap none, they go to the sorting uh, functionality. Sort by kind, date added, name, and again, I want to group them by kind. Here I am. But the group is back to the, to the off state. This solution enables me to save space on the iPad and also to create some logical arrangements uh, for the functions that I use with my favorite software. 
I hope that you liked it. I hope that you will find this solution useful on your grids. And um, thanks for watching.